Okay, um, this is a quick video to talk about uh, STL file generation. STL file generation uh, is used for 3D modeling um, and creation of the 3D modeler. Here at our uh, university we've got the uh, Dimension Elite 3D modeler um, and it uses software called Catalyst. So basically you have to um, convert your 3D model to an STL file. Uh, there's three software programs that I'll briefly mention. There's Autodesk Inventor, uh, which is a, um, a reasonably um, complicated uh, 3D modeling software. Uh, and you can generate the things like, uh, I'll just bring it up on the camera. This is something that I've created. So it's got a bit of uh, some model support material still on it. It's a transformer cover. Reasonably complex 3D object. Um, and we've got Blender, which is an open source uh, 3D software program. I'll just start that up, which uh, I'm still learning about. Here it is here. So there's um, Blender. And um, I won't go into that right now, but there's, that's your another option. And uh, also there's Google SketchUp. Now I've got Google SketchUp here. Just bring it across. Now Google SketchUp um, is pretty pretty uh, straightforward to install. Uh, I'll just bring up the page for that. So you can go to sketchup.google.com and download and download Google SketchUp. Uh, there is a professional version also, but there's no need to um, no need to Download that one. Okay, so download Google SketchUp and um, install it. Now, after you've installed it, you can go to. Let me just find it. Now, basically, this web page here where I typed in a search uh, convert Google SketchUp to STL files and it came up with this result here. Uh, wiki at dot makerbot.com backslash google dash sketchup there's a few links on this page here important one is dxf slash stl exporter plugin if you click on that one okay continuing on so that links open up this website here uh, convert sketchup skip files to dxf or stl now there's two plugins down here uh, you want the second one that's an RBZ file. Uh, R, I think, stands for Ruby. Um, and you download this one, and I'll, what, I'll show you what to do with it. Now basically, you have to copy that file. And I'll just bring this across here. As following the instructions, by the way, um, on that web page. Go in the program file. So when it asks you where to download the file, uh, where's Google? Google SketchUp plugin. So you download that Ruby file to here. I've actually downloaded both when I first did this. Okay, so there it is. Now when you go back to um, Google SketchUp, go um, window. Preferences and extensions, install the extension, and you go back to that location. Where is it? Google SketchUp uh, plugins. So there is that file there, see? It's the RBZ. And then you open it, which I've done already. Um, and you just go yes, right, okay, okay. Now, when you want to use this extension, so basically, I've designed something very simple here. I've just drawn a, just drawn a, a like a, a square, and I've extruded it out like that, and I've added another one on top. So I'll just go edit undo. Um, now what I've done is tools. And you go down here, so you may have to restart Google SketchUp to get this. Uh, it's got export DXF or STL. I click on that. 
Yeah, I want to do the whole model. Um, it's going to be something small, so millimeters. Okay. And you can choose your options here. Oh, we want STL. You go OK and ask you where to save it. Oh, I wanted to save it to desktop, and you'll notice I've probably done that already. So, yeah, I've done it before. So, now once you, you copy that file and you take it to a program like Catalyst, uh, which will, and uh, you import into Catalyst and you can put it on your modeling machine. And I'll just show you the final result just to prove that it all actually works. Uh, this is a tray out of our modeling machine and this is here. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but there's our 3D object. So I can just should better snap that off. There we go. So hold up right up to the light. And you can see there's just two boxes, but it's the real plastic model. So it works. And uh, that's all I want to talk about today. Thank you.